Today we commemorate the 16th Sunday of Matthew with the gospel reading devoted to the parable of the talents. I will begin with a comment on this reading from St. John Chrysostom. The saint wrote the following, For this purpose God gave us speech and hands and feet and strength of body and mind and understanding that we might use all these things both for our own salvation and for our neighbor's benefit. In this comment, Chrysostom is speaking about the talents that God has given us and that we must share these talents with the world. So what is a talent? As used in the parable of the talents, talent meant a monetary unit of 6,000 drachmas according to Greek standards or 3,000 shekels according to Syrian standards. It was also a unit of weight, about 75 pounds or roughly what the average man could carry by which large amounts of copper silver, or gold were measured. Jesus used the term in a metaphorical sense to convey a spiritual meaning. And as the parable was told time and again in the Christian tradition, the word talent came to mean a special gift, a natural endowment, or an unusual skill. All of our creative aptitudes and abilities are God's gifts. In this reading we encounter today, the parable is trying to tell us about the relationship between the master and his servants. The master who leaves for a time and then returns is Christ. His servants are none other than his followers, the Christians. Thus, the basic point is clear. While the risen Christ reigns in heaven and the servant Christians are waiting for his return, they are not to be inactive, complacent, and stagnant, but rather eager to exercise the gifts, responsibilities, and demands the Master has placed upon them. According to the Gospel of Matthew, the best way to wait for the glorious coming of Christ is by living according to the teachings of Jesus as, for example, in the Sermon on the Mount, and in the parable of the Last Judgment. The gifts bestowed on us by Christ include all the spiritual gifts He grants us through the Holy Spirit. I would like to return to St. John Chrysostom for more clarity, as is found in two more of his reflections. First, let us contribute alike money, eagerness in helping, care for others, and all things for neighbors' benefit. For the talents in this parable are each person's ability and power, whether by caring for others, or by giving money, or by teaching or by any other such means. For you can bring about fruit even with one talent. You are not poorer than the widow of the Gospels. You are not more unlearned than Peter and John, who were ordinary men of no education, which we read about in the book of Acts. But nevertheless, because they showed zeal and did all things for the common 
benefit, they attain to heaven. For nothing is more pleasing to God and makes one his friend as to live for the common benefit. Indeed, a beautiful description from a great father of the church. And one more found in his homily 78 on the Gospel of Matthew. If you don't know, St. John Chrysostom wrote volumes of homilies. Speech is not only useful to us for hymns and thanksgiving, but it is also profitable for teaching and encouragement. And if we indeed use it to this purpose, we imitate the Master. But if for the opposite purpose, the devil, let us then speak such things that of themselves they may be evidently the words of Christ. Listen to this closely. Our tongue is a tongue imitating the tongue of Christ if it shows attentiveness and faithfulness to speak those things which he wills. Words of gentleness and meekness. What is more lovely than a mouth that knows not to insult or curse, but is used to bless and to speak good words. Speak then after Christ's manner, and you become, in this respect, like him, so far as it is possible. Teach your soul. Listen again closely. To form for your mouth, that is Christ's mouth, It can be so if it is desired. It knows the way. It is not neglectful. And how is such a mouth formed? By Christian virtue, meekness, and humility. I find these words absolutely beautiful and inspiring. I, for one, will attempt and likewise encourage you all to concentrate on speaking words of gentleness and meekness throughout your daily life. Use your mouth to bless and speak kind words in your conversations. Show your humility and Christian virtue in all things. Use your God-given talents in a way that you glorify God in everything that you do. Amen.